Hello everybody and welcome to Spiritual Findings with the Gypsy Soul. I am your Gypsy, Vera Lynn, and today we're going to be doing a general reading for my Libras for July 2019. Now when I say general reading, this is going to cover your love, your career, your soul story, what's going on for July. I hope you guys like my setup here. I'm actually currently off grid. No electricity, no cell phone service, no plumbing, no nothing. <laughs> Just a little cabin in the woods, actually on top of a mountain. I have my shoes off, I am grounding, and I'm just loving this environment to do your readings. Maybe it's a sign that some of you guys need to get out yourself for the summer, okay? So we have a lot going on for July, guys. And when I say a lot, I mean other than just your personal lives, even just with the, the planets, there is a lot going on. We actually have two eclipses for July and one retrograde, okay? On the 2nd, July 2nd, we have a solar eclipse in Cancer. So this is going to bring your attention towards your family aspect area in life. If there's any issues, they're going to be addressed you know you are going to find yourself being a little bit more closer to your family you know with it being around the second for some people in the states maybe there's going to be a family barbecue you're going to see yourself out just kind of rekindling with family okay and on the 16th July 16th we have a lunar eclipse in Capricorn to being a lunar eclipse, you kind of focus a little bit more on yourself and your emotions, your inner your inner emotions, okay, guys? And with it being in Capricorn, it's going to, you're going to probably reevaluate your responsibilities in life and your priorities, okay? So things are going to be changing a little bit. The retrograde is with Mercury on July 7th, okay? Mercury turns retrograde in Leo, but that changes on the 31st. Mercury turns direct and same day, a new moon in Leo. There are a couple other things going on for July, but I just kind of wanted to briefly get through it, okay guys? All right, so I'm going to start reading from the Rider Waite deck here. I also have the Angels deck as well as the Fairies deck. I'm going to see which one, when I'm done with these cards, which ones I want to pull for. I have been pulling for the Fairies lately because I'm very in mother nature you know it's a very earth element we are on top of a mountain so angels do represent air too but fairies represent earth and i've been pulling a lot for my other zodiac signs from the fairies but we'll see we'll see where it where where i want to pull from what i'm feeling okay all right so let's get started guys all right and i do want to mention I do live streams. You can get yourself a free reading from time to time if you want to go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell. What is it here? We have a mouse, guys. We have a little mouse. He is so adorable running right over there. <laughs> I love doing this in nature stuff because, you know, you get Mother Nature's divination tools and she uses animal spirits and you know climate and lighting to tell you messages you know from the other side or from above so we just had a little tiny mouse run across the background there you guys probably didn't see it so your spirit animal is a mouse you guys can go ahead and do your research yourself on the mouse or comment below say vera tell me about this spirit animal i actually um have a spirit animal deck here if you guys ever want to book a private reading or maybe during the live streams if you get yourself on the list that's why it's important to hit that notification bell because it is first come first serve for them free readings I do, um, I do have all my different decks there, and you can request, be like, you know, Vera, I don't want a general reading, I don't have a question, I want a spirit animal. But yes, I do have the mouse actually in my spirit animal guidebook. If you guys ever want to know, comment below. I'm quick to reply, guys. Alright, we're starting off with the king of wands, my Libras. Okay. So it's telling me that you need to be maybe a little bit more author authoritative when it comes to your inspirations, your passions, um, you know, your career in life. You know, maybe you need, some of you guys need to take a desperate career change for some people who are, you know, in, in it for, in this for the love side of it. I would say if you're in a relationship, the passions might not be quite there anymore. If you're single, 
and you're looking for somebody, you need to do things that draw your passion. That was a moth or a butterfly. <laughs> so you get the mouse and the butterfly. But yes, yeah, so the king of wands regarding a relationship, if you're single, you need to go out there and, you know, really meet people and things that are, you know, in good karma, good for the community and that calls your passions. For instance, you know, a book club or something religious, spiritual, holistic, you know, some type of community, something that does has something to do with kids, you know, whatever you really enjoy, because you're going to meet somebody there who's like minded. Now, if you're in a relationship that kind of has fell stagnant, you know, plan a date here and there, maybe even a surprise, you know, you might be thinking, well, I should be the one surprised or whatever, but no, sometimes it kind of takes some inspiration to get the other person up and going too, okay? All right, my Libras, and, oh, all right, I have one that fell out. We have the Queen of Swords. What opposites is that? Okay. So we have the King of Wands and the Queen of Swords. So when it comes to your communication, Libra, is I really want you to think of a feminine but very authoritative way to communicate. You don't want to be intimidating at all okay because the issue at hand might be something that has already been you know talked about in the in the near past you know and bringing it up again is just going to be something that is going to kind of bring people back to an old state of mind perhaps even trigger them okay I apologize for the background <clears throat> It's the far neighbor on the mountain using his uh, ATV. Apparently it's drive your ATV into town weekend. Which is pretty cool. It's a nice trip down the mountain. Alright, my queen of swords. So, when it comes to our passions, be the king. When it comes to our communication, be the queen. I hope you guys get that. You know, so when it comes to your actual passions and doing something about it i want you to be extremely motivated outgoing you know taking not taking no for an answer when it comes to your communication just tread lightly make sure you kind of have things planned out in your head before you approach the situation or you approach the problem with your loved one with your boss with your co-worker whatever it might be okay it's very interesting because like if you, I'll bring it up here. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but as you can see, you have the king and the queen. But look, do you notice that they are facing in opposite directions? So it's, you know, to me, this is really telling me that you need to take two different approaches to two different problems. You can't just be the same way throughout all of it, okay? You need to approach things differently. All right. It's very beautiful cards together. I like that layout. They'd be a good couple. <laughs> All right. Like I said, I'm sorry for that background noise. You guys are the only... Well, I had one. I think it might have been my cancer is that I actually had a plane go by in, towards the end of the video. Now, you guys have an ATV. So... For them, I translate it as that, like, maybe you guys literally need to do some travel overseas, you know, take a, you know, a plane ride somewhere to you. I would say, my Libras, you know, go on a safari or, you know, do something through nature, go camping, um, something more ground related, not flying, not overseas, maybe something more at home. Okay, something near you, something you haven't done near you that's an attraction that you've always wanted to do. All right, Libra, do it. All right. All right. Oh, wow. Okay, we had two cards that fell out. <clears throat> judgment and we have the seven of cups so judgment 
my Libras in judgment, you guys always have great judgment, okay? Maybe some of you guys are... Your opinion might be needed. Your judgment might be needed because you guys are very, very far-minded. I'm not quite sure what bird that is. You guys can hear that, I would imagine. But, my Libras, your judgment is needed. You know, perhaps there is somebody in your life that desperately needs your opinion, okay? Maybe it is you being a little bit too cold-hearted on yourself or somebody else, okay? So, with judgment, there's going to be... I believe it could be... The Lunar Eclipse in Capricorn... That's going to make you guys reevaluate a lot of different aspects in your life, but for the better. You know, it's not like anything's going to get worse. It's actually going to improve greatly with this lunar eclipse. Okay, guys? So please take advantage of that. The retrograde is just made for you to kind of sit back and relax a little bit. So don't get, don't overwhelm yourself. Okay, that's why I feel like it's very important for you to do a little vacation or a spa day, whatever you need to kind of get yourself back in gear, Libra. Okay? The Seven of Cups. Choices, 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 choices. You are the third Zodiac sign Libras to get this card Okay, and to me I find that very odd But also at the same time I feel it's the eclipses that are really kind of shaking things up for a lot of us So when it comes to the seven of cups just because there is a lot of choices You know whether it comes to your career your education who you want to date how you want to approach your relationship What do you want to do with you know legal situations? What do you want to do with family? traveling You might have a lot of choices and it might be overwhelming But don't let that gear you from making a decision at all and I've had to tell my other zodiac signs that because when you get that card, you might have a lot of good choices in front of you. Some of them you might see the clear cons. Some of them, you know, are you might have highlighted and already starred that it's your favorite. But there's also those other options. And you're worried about making the wrong decision. Don't let that gear you from making a decision at all. And like I said, this could be towards anything. Your love, your career, education, you know. What do you want to eat tonight? No. <laughs> I'm just saying, guys, it's, it's sometimes it can be pure anxiety to think about the different scenarios and outcomes of things, to play it over and over in your head, okay? Don't worry. When you worry, you just suffer twice, okay? All right. All right, let's see here. Oh, man, I'm getting some nice sun now. I hope you guys like my setup here. I think I mentioned about the healer's box before I dive into the fairies here, before I pull a fairies card. I have a healer's box. It's spiritual findings with a gypsy soul's one year anniversary. I am so belated to see where this channel has grown in a past year. I am super shocked. My spirit family is amazing. Like I said, I do live streams from time to time. You can get yourself a free reading when I do those sessions, but it's so awesome to chat with you guys, see where you're from, hear your background story. It's amazing. It's so fun. It's educational. You can get yourself a free reading. It's just a great place to be, and I just love it. Um, shout out to any of my Libras who've been on the chat lines. You know, it's, you know, it's a lot of fun. It can be pretty crazy on there. But I have a little healer's box. I didn't bring it up here because it is quite heavy. <laughs> it's a little he healer's box. I'm doing a raffle that I'm pulling on July 31st to enter. All you have to do is subscribe, share, ring the notification bell, and comment below that you have done all three so I can put your name in a hat. July 31st at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, I will pull it. All right. And in the box, there's a lot of stuff. And unfortunately, because it is so heavy and there is so much stuff in it, I can only do it to my U.S. subscribers. You know, we're not quite there with the channel where I can afford to ship it anywhere else. But in the box, there's a salt lamp, there's incense, there's sage, your own tarot deck, which I have the Rider Weight deck that I actually use here in there. And there's a whole bunch of other stuff. There's a whole bunch of gemstones. All you have to do, guys, is share, subscribe, okay? Ring that notification bell and 
and comment below that you have done so. Alright, I only have like 10, 15 people on this list, guys. So you do actually have a really good chance to win it. And if you're on for July 31st and you don't end up getting the box, I will be doing free readings up until I do the drawing. Okay, guys? So it's a lot of fun. I'll have a picture at the end of this video here to show you what is in the box, okay? Because like I said, it's pretty big. I didn't want to bring it off grid. I'll just show a picture of it, okay, at the end of the video. <sighs> now that I'm done rambling, on to the fairies. Listen to that mountain breeze. Birds chirping. You can almost hear the mountain stream. I love it. All right. Assertiveness. Stand up for your beliefs. And only say yes if you really want to. And my goodness, my Libras, does that not go hand in hand with the King of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and Judgment? Okay, when it comes to making those choices that kind of appeared with the Seven of Cups there. Don't let anybody steer you wrong or tell you that a decision that you might be making is, you know, silly. Okay, or it's not what they would have done. Who cares? If it's in good karma, if it's, you know, in your best interest and, you know, also for your close family members, children or so, who cares? Let's roll with it. Assertiveness. All right. Lovely card there. Isn't it beautiful? And look at the way that the sun's shining on it. I think myself, I'm getting a little bit of sunburn and I love it. All right, guys, so that sums up your reading, you know, I, I'm i really kind of interested, you know, comment below with what, what you guys go, got going on that you feel like you have to be the king of wands one way and the queen of swords another way and put your good judgment into because I'd really love to hear what's going on. All right, guys, I'd like to hear how you are going to approach this situation. All right. All right, my lovely Libras, I hope to see you for a live stream. Like I said, it is quite fun. Join the spirit, spirit family here, you know. <laughs> Shout out to my Libras who are already part of the family. All right, guys, here is where I end it, and I hope you guys have a beautiful July.